Okay guys, welcome to another crypto trading app tutorial. In today's video, we will explore together Coinbase app. I will take you through how to buy your first coin and sell your first coin, how to deposit. I will show you how to withdraw from Coinbase and also how to trade and as well earn passive income on Coinbase. Welcome back. If you are new to this channel, I am Ade from TrueGoods and on this channel, I make tutorial videos on trading and investing apps like this one. I teach trading strategies and also make market analysis videos on stocks, cryptocurrencies and NFTs. If content like this interests you, please hit the subscribe button and if you gain value from this video, please hit the like button. Use the comment section to engage me, drop your questions and the video you would like to see next. If you look into the description, you will see a link to sign up with Coinbase where you can earn $10 upon signing up and also links to other trading and investing apps that you can earn reward upon signing up. And there is link to the next video that provide more value that I think you should see. Alright, let's get started. So, before we start exploring this app together, it is important I let you know that Coinbase app are in three different versions. We have the Coinbase.com, we have the Coinbase Pro, and we have the Coinbase Wallet. I will drop videos on those ones later. If you're an Android user, download Coinbase app from Play Store or iPhone user, you download the app from your app stores. So after downloading, you need some document to get your account verified. You need your national identification number or card and or your passport, your international passport, I mean, and also you need your driver's license. If you have any of the documents I just mentioned, you are good to go. Then your email and your phone number. The page you are seeing right now is similar to what you are going to be seeing on your screen. Regardless if you are using the mobile app now or you are using the desktop version, you are still going to be able to do the same thing on both interfaces. Alright. So, you can see there is no fund in this account. You, can, you will know that when you click on assets. So, if you go back, and click on add payment method right here you'll be able to add your credit card or your account details or your bank details but if you are in a restricted region you won't be able to add this so instead you go back you can either click on receive payment here or click on pay down here if you click on pay down here you will click on receive here down here and when you click on receive, you will see your address or the QR code you can use to receive payment from friends and family or for those that want to pay you in cryptocurrency, thereby making it a means of you getting funds into your Coinbase account if you are in a restricted region. Alright, but I don't like to deposit in Bitcoin because of the transaction fee, so I will choose the coin I like to transact with because of the low transaction fee. So thereby, I'm going to click on Bitcoin right here. I'll search for the coin, which is Litecoin. LTC. So I'll click on Litecoin. And here is my address and the QR code. I can either screenshot this QR code or copy the address. So I'll click on copy right here. So after copying, as well, you can share it to your contact, the person that wants to pay you. So, I'm going to go to my other exchange and send Litcoin right to this Coinbase account. Alright, let's do that right away. Here's my Binance account and you can see that I have Litcoin here. I will click on Litcoin. I will select Withdrawal. I will select send via crypto network then i will long press the first page right here 
So after which, you can see the network is Litecoin network and I will select the amount I want to send to this account. So you can see the minimum you can send is 0.002. Here I'm going to send 0.1. Then I'll click on withdraw. Please know that all this information must be correct, the network and the address. If anyone is incorrect, you might lose your, your cryptocurrency and unable to get them back. I'll click on withdraw. I'll click on verify now. I'll click on confirm here. Then I'll input all these details. So you can see I've successfully withdrawn 0.1 LTC. This process might take few minutes before it reflects in my Coinbase wallet. All right. So if I click on receive right here, you will see that the amount I sent from my Binance account is still paying the right here. So after a few minutes, you can see that it's no longer pending and you cannot find it here. So after that, there are two things you can do. Is that you go to O and click on convert here and convert the LTC you bought to a stable coin or to another cryptocurrency. All right, or you go back and go to asset down here you will see that you have you see your balance and you can click on the coin here which is litecoin then click on trade that means you want to convert here then you click on trade after which you convert it to any coin you want i want to convert it to stable coin which is usdc that means one usdc it's called to one dollar so 10 usdc is called to 10 dollars so then i'll click on so i'll click on preview convert then i'll click on convert now so converter you can see it was actually 5.39 now usdt worth before because of the volatility of the market the amount has dropped to 5.36 I'll click on view account. So you can see now that we are now holding dollar value coins. So anything that is happening in the market, if the market is tipping, it's none of our consign. Now it's like we are holding a digital dollar right now. So if you want to buy any coin, and all you can just do is go to convert and convert from the coin you are holding to the coin that you want to buy. So in this case, I'll click on two here. And I'll click on BLZ. Please note, I select BLZ for this tutorial alone, and it's not a financial advice for you to buy BLZ. So after which, you are going to click on the amount you want to convert to BLZ. In this case, I want to convert. Let me just say two dollar. So then I'll click on convert. So then I'll click on convert now. So you can see I've converted part of my stable coin to another crypto coin. All right, I can click on view. So after that, you can see my total portfolio, which is $5. So after buying your first coin, this is basically the way you can keep converting one coin to another, another coin to another. So you can still convert BLZ to another coin you want. So it's as simple as that. All right. You can click on home here and click on this hamburger icon right up above here. In case you want to earn passive income while you are holding a coin, this is how you are going to do it. You will click on earn it right here. You can click on what you can earn. And here are some coins that you can buy and hold. And you can see the APY. APY means annual percentage yield. So that means if you hold a cost mode for a year, you are going to get 5% return. 
and also this returns are, are due to change based on people that are, op- that are opting into the idea all right guys that's basically it on coinbase app review if you have given value in this video and if you watch this video to this end that means you are interested in the content of this channel please hit the like button and as well hit the subscribe button it helps a lot and encourage me to produce more go to the comment section and tell me what you want me to make video about next don't forget to join our telegram channel which is our two goals where we talk about stocks and cryptocurrency so click on the video you are seeing on your screen right now to learn more and i'll see you in the next video